Uh, my name is Kathleen Wallace, um, and today I'm really excited to present my medical education summer research work titled Addressing Vaccine Hesitancy in the Bridges Curriculum, a Practical Evidence-Based Approach to Curriculum Review. Um, vaccines are one of the most important public health achievements in human history. From smallpox to HPV, vaccines have substantially reduced the burden of infectious diseases. However, vaccines are under serious threat from vaccine hesitancy. Vaccine hesitancy is defined as the delay in acceptance or refusal of vaccines despite availability of vaccination services. Because of vaccine hesitancy, vaccination rates for certain diseases like measles have fallen, outbreaks, once rare, have reemerged, and public discourse is at an all-time high. Medical students need to learn about vaccines in order to help their patients make informed decisions. However, most medical students in the U.S. do not get enough education in this area. This includes students at UCSF, where vaccine content has not been reviewed since the establishment of the Bridges curriculum in 2016. So with this gap in mind, the goal of my project was to review, improve, and create curricular content um, on the clinical and social aspects of vaccination for the UCSF School of Medicine. To start, I began with a literature search and five databases to identify currently published vaccine curricula for medical students. From these uh, identified curricula, I obtained their primary documents from the attached materials. And if the publication didn't have attached documents, I personally contacted the curriculum authors asking for their materials and also about the process of implementing their curriculum. Simultaneously, I also conducted a needs assessment of vaccine content in the Bridges curriculum. I organized a semi-structured student focus group um, to gather student reflections and identify gaps in vaccine knowledge. I also reached out to all of the course directors asking if their course taught content on or related to vaccines. So for my results, the literature search returned 177 articles, of which 12 were distinct vaccine curricula. These curricula used a combination of team-based and case-based learning in addition to lectures and two taught communication strategies. Of these, I selected four that were most amenable to the Bridges curriculum. From the focus group, I identified several themes from the discussions, including a lack of consolidated vaccine content, um, a need to know how to answer common vaccine myths and questions, and also a desire to understand the perspectives of vaccine-hesitant individuals. The desired learning format consisted of a lecture and small group, very similar to many of the um, curricula identified for my literature search. In general, the course directors uh, explained that vaccines were generally taught in the context of vaccine-specific preventable illnesses. So for example, the hepatitis B vaccine was first introduced in a lecture on liver disease. Otherwise, um, educational content on vaccines, vaccination, or vaccine hesitancy was sparse and not coordinated across the curriculum. So with these results, uh, for my literature search and needs assessment, I used all these findings to write a new reader chapter um, for the life stages section of our curriculum. Uh, this reader chapter was written to reflect the successful curricula for my literature search, address the themes from the student focus group, and also cover areas not previously um, covered in the Bridges curriculum. Uh, so for an example here, a common question patients might have is whether or not vaccines cause autism. In this section of the chapter, we actually go into the origins of this belief what research has been done, and provide students with an answer they can use to explain to their patients. This reader chapter was distributed to all second year medical students in the fall of 2019 while they were learning about pediatric routine care. And on course evaluations, students gave a 3.5, 3.252 out of five on feeling comfortable discussing vaccines. And we anticipate with further implementations, we can raise this number. I also updated a pediatric small group, which incorporated new uh, cases on childhood vaccination. And these cases will have students practice using the CDC schedule, how to explain the risks and benefits of vaccines to patients, and also use communication strategies to address questions from a vaccine-hesitant family. Finally, I compiled all the, re uh, the responses from our course directors uh, to generate this roadmap of vaccine content in the Bridges curriculum. This roadmap shows all the current content that's available in Bridges and also identifies areas for future intervention. Education on vaccination continues to be an area of unmet need in medical education. Here, I have demonstrated an effective approach using a literature search, focus group, and curriculum review in order to develop practical and well-received content. This process shows promise for nimble curriculum development by incorporating evaluation, cataloging of content, and revisions in a flexible format. And furthermore, we think this approach has a lot of value for medical schools because it can help them address emergent medical and social topics while maintaining their core educational goals. So with that, I'd like to thank the following collaborators and my project mentors for their support all over this summer, and I'd like to thank you for your attention.